物のせてるって。これ聞いてもせてるって。聞いてもののせてるって。寝てでもせてるって。寝てもそののせてるって。
uh, the year of anointed leadership. And it's represented by an ox, okay? So the ox, the ox and oxen are a spiritual picture of the anointing and a picture of strength, primarily the strength of God. It's the strength of God on your life. And I'm here to tell you that in your time of weakness, God is your strength, okay? That is the ox, and we are the oxen. You remember what Paul said to the church at Timothy as he quoted Deuteronomy? Muzzle not the ox that treadeth out the corn. But the, but the Lord put something in my spirit that I want to share with you for a minute. Watch this. And he made me see something that I had never, never really paid attention to. And it's going to sound like our discussion is going to be a little bit um, PG-13, a little bit PG-13. I'm going to control my language, but it's going to be a little bit PG-13. It's going to well, make may on into R just a little bit, just a little bit. But I promise I'm going to be within the realm of holiness. I will use the proper words and terminology. But one of the things that the Lord showed me this morning, watch this, is from Proverbs 14 and verse 4. Proverbs 14 and verse 4. Watch this. Proverbs 14 and verse 4. Let's go there. Proverbs 14 and verse 4. That's Proverbs 14 and verse 4. Can we go there for a minute? Would you guys pull that scripture up this morning? Proverbs 14 and, and, and verse 4. Proverbs 14 and verse 4. And then he gave me another companion scripture. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Revelations 12 and verse 11. Re Revelation 12 and verse 11. Revelation 12 and verse 11. Um, so Proverbs 14 and 4 and Revelation 12 and verse 11. Okay, so we're going to we're going to look at those two passages very, very quickly. I'm going to give you a quick word of motivation, a quick word of uplift. And I am out of here for today. Amen. Um, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Proverbs 14 and 4. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean. Now, now watch this, watch this, watch this. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to look at this. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean. But watch the second, the B clause of this. But much increase is by the strength of the ox. So watch this. If you need increase, you must have ox. Now, the ox is a beast of burden. That's, our, that's our, 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 our picture. This word, olive, this is the year of pay olive, the mouth of the ox, or primarily the mouth of primacy, the mouth of God. So we need a word from the mouth of God for this next season. But, what, but watch this. The ox is a symbol, as I said earlier, of God, strength, anointing, um, leadership, Paul said, um, 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 again, to, to Timothy, in, in, quoted in Timothy, muzzle not the ox that treadeth out the corn. In other words, if there's a field to be worked, you need an ox to work that field. He is a beast of burden. So let me say this to you prophetically right now. The burden you have been carrying has been building spiritual muscle. Mm. Your burden is a muscle builder. The things that have been coming at you, the things you've been fighting with, the things you've been wrestling with, they have been building your spiritual muscle. Watch this for the labor that must go forth. But watch this. In your building season, watch this. You're in, you're in that crib. Watch this. The, the, the Bible says that, that, that where no oxen are, watch this, where, where no oxen are, I mean, that, that, that there, is, there, there, there is no... Um, yeah, the, the, the crib is clean. The crib is clean. Watch this. So, so watch this. One of the things that comes along with oxen, watch this, is manure. It's manure. Okay? Now, and I'm, I'm saying it, I'm saying it nicely, because because I'm gonna tell you in my flesh, you know, if you if you've ever heard the phrase shoveling S, shoveling S, you ever heard that before? There's a process whereby, watch this. The things that have killed you in private, the, king, the things that, have, that you fought with within your family, the things that you dealt with in your personal life become a word of testimony. Watch this from, for the field. So you got to understand that the things that are in the crib are no good in the crib. Let me ask you a question. If you've ever worked a farm, if you've ever been to, been to a farm, watch this. There is no harvest in the crib. Walk with me now. You do not see men plant corn in the stall where the oxen are. 
You do not see men plant corn, wheat, harvesting crops, tobacco, cotton. They don't plant that within the barn or within the crib. But yet the manure is vital to the growth of the crop. See, you've got the strength of the oxen for the labor, but watch this. You take the waste from the oxen's natural processes to also fertilize the fields. In other words, watch this. Mm, mm, mm. Watch this. Your mess becomes the fertilizer for ministry. The things you're dealing with, your personal crises, your, your, your church hurt. I put a post up the other day. Listen, we have idolized church hurt and we won't um, honor the great physician himself. That's, that's, that's Jesus himself. So watch this. We got all these folk who are, and I'm so sick of seeing them. They run around, they tear the church up. They talk about how nasty church folk are. They destroy pastors. They destroy leaders. All they talk about is, 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 is you know, these church folk. I'm tired of these church folk judging me. Listen, you live in a messy life. Ain't nobody talking about you. We live in, we live in a, we, you, you just live in a messy life. So if we talking to your crib time, it doesn't make us be talking about you. You just in a manure state. You're in a manure state. And watch this while you're in that crib and manure is dropping. Watch this. The manure, watch this. You got to see this can become toxic to the ox. How does it become toxic to the ox? Because watch this, if he stands in it continuously too long, his hoofs can be can decay and become infected. Watch this, because he's standing in his own manure. The very thing that came out of him is killing him and can be toxic to him because watch this, the master doesn't move him, the farmer doesn't move him, the, the herdsman doesn't move him from the crib to the field. I'm here this morning to tell you it's time for some of you to move from the crib to the field. Watch this. The other scripture that God put in my spirit, the revelation scripture, watch this, Revelation 12, 11, is that they overcame by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. In Revelations. So the word of their testimony is important. That Watch this. Watch this. This word of testimony is the martyria, the martyria. It, 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 watch this. This, 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 is, this is the testimony, the things that have to come out of your life by the report that comes off your life. Watch this. So watch this. Many of us are still in crib mode. We're stuck on what's happening to us. But can I tell you this? God is pushing you now to process what's coming through us. See, the manure comes from the ox eating of his lot, what he's being fed by the shepherd, the form of the herdsman, what he's being fed, he's fed, then he defecates. But he can't stand in his defecation any longer or too long. Watch this. The farmer has to now, watch this, pull the ox out of the crib, put him in the field. But watch what the farmer does. Oh, Jesus. He sends back. Mm. Watch this, a barn hand. He sends back somebody that's going to grab that manure out of the crib. So watch this. While the ox is out treading, watch this, the manure is being cleaned up by, by, by a, I don't know what they call them, but they're farm hands. They go in and they get big shovels and they scoop up the manure. But watch this. Come on, people of God, you got to see this. They don't throw the manure away. They throw the manure in the very field that the ox has to tread. See, the ox treads out the rows prior to be prior to the field being planted. Mm. His strength is used in treading out the rows. And once he treads out the rows, then you put the seed in. But watch this. You can't put the ox back on top of the crop again because he'll trample it. You have to put the manure in the soil, let the ox come back and turn the soil and turn the manure under, get the fertilizer under the dirt and use the waste to fertilize the field. And it requires the ox, watch this, it requires his manure from the barn and it requires him to do some treading in the field. I'm here to say to you prophetically, that some of you who have been going through some stinky situations, 
You've been challenged. You've had issues. You've had fights. 2020 has dumped some manure on you, but you got to shovel it. You got to shovel it. You got to move it from your private pain into your public testimony. You got to shovel it, people of God. Get your shovel. You got to shovel it. You got to take it and you got to move it from your place of brokenness to your place of productivity. Watch this. Your story will bless others. Your story will minister to others. You got to shovel that stuff. You got to shovel it. You got to move it out of your crib. You got to get out of your private shame. Watch this, what he says here in in this testimony. in Romans 12, he says, for they love not their lives, they, but for they love not their lives unto death. Watch this. The problem is you too concerned about what people going to think. You love your life too much. You're not willing to die for him yet. The problem is you worry about your reputation, apostle. You worried about your reputation, bishop. You worried about your reputation, pastor. You worried about what people going to say about you. But let me tell you something. But listen, if they talking, at least the word spreading. Hallelujah. At least the word spreading. Call them, watch this, call them stall hands. Call them field hands. Let them go in there. Let them get all in your stuff and talk about your stuff. Help them let it spread it because somebody who gets that word ain't going to laugh. Somebody who gets that word about what happened in your life is going to laugh. It's mean, not going to laugh. They're going to they gonna contemplate that thing and say, well, if God did it for her, he can do it for me. That word of testimony has to move from the stall, from the crib, into the field. You better learn how to tell your story sometime. And let the shoveler shovel. Let them keep shoveling in your stuff. I'm saying it nicely. Let them keep shoveling in your stuff. Let them keep telling your testimony. And listen, you got to get out of your pride and know that it's not about you loving your life. It's about you being used to the glory of God. So whatever your stinky place is, don't stand in it by yourself. Get up out of it. Clean your hooves. Let the shepherd clean your hooves. Let the, let the, let the poor man clean your hooves. Let him clean. Don't stand in it. Let him clean you up and then let him use it for the glory of the kingdom. Your manure has to go from crib to field. I don't care what you've been through, what you're dealing with, how ugly it was. You're not exempt. It's not, you're not exempt. Crib to field. It's got, listen, where there is no oxen. See, that's part of the increase. You got to understand, the oxen don't increase in the crib. You got to go from the crib to the field where the labor is because that's where the crop's going to come in from. I got to go. That's all I'm going to say to you today. Mother Ma, come on and pray. Love you. Love you guys. Bless you. Yeah, 
Okay, they both said they're different. Okay, they both said they're different. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. And Father, we thank you now for overseeing Mother Mark more. We thank you now for just allowing us, Father God, to be together in this time and in this season, God. We pray strength for the believers. We pray strength for your children, Lord God. We pray strength, Lord God, for all, Lord God, who are who are hearing the word of God. And we ask you, God, to continue to anoint the voices of your servants in this season, God. Lord God, call forth the remnant like never before. Call forth the remnant like never before, Father. Calls us, Father God, to carry a word in such a way, Father God, that it can touch the lives of your people. We thank you for this word this morning. God, I thank you for the word this morning. I ask you, Father God, to continue to bless Overseer and Mother Maul. Continue to bless us all as we move through, Lord God, this time and this season of our lives. God, and we ask you, Father God, just to keep us in your care. God, we pray for our government. We pray for those that are around us. We lift up the kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. 2363, 2363 is going to be our recording for today. Number 2363. You can pick that up on the audio call at 712-775-7099, access code 789-111, then into your reference of 2363, okay? 2363. Um, you can also come back and review this Facebook broadcast at any time. Um, share it, like it, replay it for somebody. I pray it will lift somebody's spirit as it has lifted yours. Listen, let me thank everyone who sold seed on yesterday for our Rosh Hashanah for the head of the year. We sold seed this weekend for Rosh Hashanah. We're preparing our $21 seed now for this coming week. It'll be our seeding for Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. It's a sacrificial seed that we'll be sowing on Sunday and Monday of next week, Sunday and Monday, this coming Sunday and Monday, we'll be submitting our $21 seed. You don't have to necessarily sow it to Apostle or sow it into Impact. You can sow it to your local church. That's where you want to sow, but you want to put a seed in the ground in honor of Yom Kippur, okay? So we love you all. It's a great time in the kingdom. Listen, stay encouraged, be lifted, and let's go manifest. We love you all. Have a great day. Have Bless you. See you, Facebook fam. Love y'all.